Let's play Castlevania Lords of Shadow. After I wait for this, that's something I really hate about the PS3. It seems every time I try to play a game, I always have to download a software update. Well, anyway, I'm doing this review totally as a request. Since this game was released about a month ago, I've been getting lots of requests to make some kind of comment about it. Fans are interested to know what I think. Well, thanks. I guess that's understandable because last year, around this time, I was doing a big Castlevania marathon. And even though it was the angry nerd and all shits and giggles, I expressed a lot of honest opinions about those games. Those were the older ones I grew up with. This one's a lot harder to talk about because it's so new. I rarely get a chance to play any newer games for my own leisure, so I haven't had much free time to play this yet. How long have I played it? Well, there you go. That's convenient. A little over two hours. And to be honest, I suck balls at it. I had to put it on the easiest difficulty setting because I kept getting my ass kicked. So this is a premature review. I'd like to be able to play it some more before I try to talk about it, but by the time I get that far, the game won't be new anymore and people won't care as much. So this is a first impression. I'm a big fan of the look of the game. The graphics are awesome, especially during the cutscenes. The music is epic, and the voice of Patrick Stewart gets a thumbs up from me. We go about our daily lives never knowing the forces that can change our destinies forever. It's a little annoying that you have no control over the camera angle. I'm not sure if you're able to control the camera at later parts in the game, but so far it doesn't seem like it. Despite being a 3D Castlevania game, it's kinda linear. You can backtrack to earlier levels to collect things that you haven't before, but it's mostly just going forward and not as much free reign in exploring as I would have thought. As the game begins, you're just beating the crap out of monsters. It's fun, and I like the effects when they explode, but it gets kind of monotonous. That was my initial concern, that it would just be a button masher. I was hoping for some variety, and, well, I got it, although it wasn't the kind I expected. There's a stage that's 90% swamp, so most of the time you're trudging through at snail pace. You have to stay on the dark green areas or else you take damage. Every now and then, something reaches out and tries to pull you under. Thankfully, you can defend yourself by doing a specifically timed button press. Speaking of that, there's a boss battle where you have to do one of these button presses. At first, you fight the boss like normal. He takes a lot of abuse. Finally, when you take his energy bar down all the way, you have to do the button press. And if you miss it, if your timing is off, he regains some of his energy and you have to fight him again. That kind of reminds me of Castlevania Dawn of Sorrow, where you have to use the Nintendo DS pen to draw a symbol, and you only have like three seconds. By the time you realize that and get the pen out, you're fucked. I think when you beat the boss, they should just drop dead and that's it. Then you come to this one stage that has nothing in it. The scenery is nice, but there's no bad guys to fight. Maybe it's because I'm on the easiest setting, I don't know. What you're supposed to do here is collect a bunch of medallions or runic symbols and go to this fairy and match up the symbols. This is like something you do for a password, not part of the game. Next up is a puzzle. I hate this thing. There's three circles with bridges. You're supposed to turn the circles until the bridges line up. Not to the right, not to the left, they have to all be facing you. At first this may seem simple, like you just move all the rings, but when you move one ring, it moves another in a way that you don't want it to. I had to read about it online to figure out what the right pattern is. I'm sure with some extra patience I could have solved it myself, but I don't care. I'm not good at this puzzle stuff. I just want some action and exploring. Almost immediately after this, you have to fight another boss. There's literally been no bad guys or regular action in between. It's been boss battle, puzzle, puzzle, boss battle. So I just want to finish this guy and get to something different. He's kind of neat, sort of reminds me of Talos from Jason and the Argonauts. The way you fight him is by climbing all around his body and destroying certain parts. I've already defeated many of these parts, so I'm able to skip past them. That's why you're not seeing them right now. The annoying part is that he shakes and tries to throw you off. You have to hold on tight, and when you're doing that, you can't move. So every time he shakes, you have to stop. That wouldn't be such a problem, but he shakes all the time. You barely get any chance to move around. And whatever you do, don't be impatient, because if he shakes you off, you gotta start climbing all over again. 
Like I said, I suck at newer games, so it's really not my thing. I will give it another try when I can. One thing that gets brought up a lot is that it doesn't have much to do with Castlevania. I do agree, it's not Castlevania unless you're collecting hearts and whipping pork chops out of walls. No, it doesn't remind me of Castlevania that much, but I'm not preoccupied with it either. I don't care what you call the game, I just wanted to play something good, that's all. It's not bad, I just find the boss battles and puzzle sequences to be tiresome. That's all I can say, so take it for what it's worth.